Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today I want to show you how you can deposit currencies like euros um, to Binance. And in order to do that, you need a Binance account. If you don't have a Binance account yet, I put a link down in the description. And first of all, until end of September, it was actually possible to deposit euros via SIPA, so via bank transfer to Binance. However, if you live in Europe, it's um, for most countries not possible anymore. And I will show you that in just a second. Just go to our wallet here and then we click on deposit. Then we click on deposit. And as you can see, um, there's currently no way to deposit euros um, to Binance. So in order to do that, we have to find another way. And there are actually three different options and I want to show you all three of them. Um, but to be honest, the last one is actually the best one to use or that's actually the one I use. So first of all, you can click on buy crypto here and then you can say, okay, you want to buy USDT, want to invest like 100 USD and then you click on buy USDT and then you can actually pay via credit card or Google or Apple Pay. So it's actually quite convenient and you would have access to the cryptocurrencies immediately. However, um, as you can see here, we actually deposited 100 USD and we only get um, 69 USDT. So that basically means there's a 4% fee that we are paying in order to get these cryptocurrencies. So I really can't recommend that because of the high fee. And the second way would be the peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. That's basically a marketplace where you buy cryptocurrencies, not from Binance, but from different Binance or other Binance users. And you just select the cryptocurrency here, like USDT, then it shows you the different prices and you can select a payment method. So for example, if you have a Revolut account, you can use Revolut or a SIPA bank transfer and so on. And then you can just buy from them. However, it's also not the best way to do that because um, the spread is quite high because um, the people that offer the cryptocurrencies here have a nice spread on it. So they make some decent amount of money in order to do that. And you always have to wait until they receive the money then they have to release the cryptocurrencies. So it's like not very convenient to do that. So let's have a look at the third option then. And the third option is basically to use a different cryptocurrency exchange. For me, for example, in Germany, it's the easiest to use um, Coinbase. I just go on my Coinbase here and then I can easily deposit um, currencies like euros. I just need a wire transfer to that bank account. And that's basically it. If I do that with my Revolut account, for example, it usually arrives within seconds and it's credited to my account within seconds or minutes. So it's actually quite convenient. And then you can basically buy with that euros that you deposited on Coinbase and cryptocurrencies. Therefore, it's best if you go to advanced trading here because then you are only paying 0.5% fee and then you can basically exchange these euros for USDT. If you trade them here, you just do like a buy order or sell order. And so let's say you have euros and you want to buy USDT. And then you basically do that, select how much you want to buy. And that's basically it. You can do a market order that will get filled immediately or a limit order where you can actually set the price. And that's basically it. Once you have brought your cryptocurrencies like USDT, uh, you can send them to Binance and it's actually straightforward. You just go to send and receive there, click on send, select the asset, which would be USDT here. In our example, then you can add how much you want to send. And then we just need an address where we need to send it to. And that's basically pretty straightforward. You just go to deposit here, deposit crypto, search a coin like USDT. It's on the Ethereum blockchain and then click copy. 
and then we basically have an address we have a can send it to and then you just need to specify the amount and that's basically it then you can actually send it and if you do it with usdt or something on the ethereum blockchain it usually arrives within minutes and it's credited to your account within minutes so it's actually quite convenient and then you can start trading with it if you want to withdraw money that's actually easier because there you still have options and you can still use a bank transfer so a zipa transfer if you want to withdraw your euros from binance so that still works if you have any questions about it please feel free to use the comments if you find that video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching